Okay, today we're going to review the node voltage method by solving for the voltage V0, which is across the 3 ohm resistor in this circuit. And remember the general steps of the node voltage for a circuit with n total nodes is first we're going to identify the nodes, and then we're going to select one of those nodes as a reference node. and label all the other nodes. We're going to apply KCL using node voltages. And then we're going to solve for the node voltages. And typically there will be n minus 1 nodes and that are unknown, that have unknown voltages. And so we need n minus 1 equations. However, there's a big hint that if you have voltage sources, those are constraints that tie the voltages at different nodes together. Okay? And so that will reduce the number of equations that we actually have to solve. It will simplify our math, which of course we like to do. All right, so we look at this circuit. Hopefully from the discussions in class, we can see that there are three nodes. Okay? There's a node here at the bottom. Okay? Remember, a node connects two or more branches or elements to, together. So there's one at the bottom. Remember, those straight lines are just represent wires or shorts, circuits, or, short, or shorts. Okay, there's one node at the bottom. There is a node between the 10 volt source and the 4 ohm resistor. And there is another node that connects the three resistors to each other. So there are three nodes in this problem. Okay. Now, I'm going to label the bottom node as the reference node. Okay. And that's what we call ground. Okay. So V is equal to zero. We're saying the voltage down at that node is zero. I will label the uh, node above the 10 volt source as VA, but notice that the voltage source, all it does is increase the voltage from the bottom to the top of, it, of itself. So VA is actually 10 volts. This is an example of how I can reduce the number of equations or unknown node voltages that I have because I know that the voltage between the bottom node and the reference node and VA has got to be 10 volts. And finally, I'll label the node up in the upper right as VB. Okay? And that node is unknown. Okay? So we have one unknown, so we're going we're gonna to have to generate only one equation. Okay? So that's pretty nice. So let's apply KCL, okay? which is the second step, using the node voltages. Now, um, with practice, you can go immediately into applying KCL with the node voltages. But what we're going to do here today is to um, just draw in and label the currents as we would typically do with KCL, just for illustrative purposes. So I'm going to look at VB, and I'm going to say that the current is entering VB from the 4 ohm resistor, and I'm going to call that I4. And then current will be leaving or going down, or leaving VB, or node B, going down the 3 ohm resistor, called I3. And of course, we'll have I6 going, leaving B and going down the 6 ohm resistor. So if I were to do KCL at node B, I would write, if I was writing the currents, I4 is entering, and that's equal to I3 plus I6 leaving. So now what we're going to do is write KCL in terms of the node voltages using Ohm's law. Okay. So I4 is really the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor divided by the 4 ohms. So I4 is really, can really be written as VA minus VB over 4. 
and that's going to equal I3, and I3 is the voltage drop across the 3 ohm resistor, which is VB minus 0 over 3, and VB and I6 is VB minus 0 over 6. Okay. Now VA, of course, we know is 10 volts. Okay. We already know that value, so we only have one unknown in our equations, and that's all we need to solve. So to solve this, I'm going to multiply by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is 12, and solve for VB. So multiply by 12, I have 3VA minus 3VB is equal to 4VB plus 2VB. Take VB, uh, move VB t to the same side and substitute the 10 volts in for VA, and we have 30 is equal to 9VB, or VB is equal to 30 ninths volts, or that's 10 thirds volts, or VB is equal to 3.33 volts. Okay. And Check just to make sure that your math over on the right is correct. You can substitute VB back into the original uh, equation. And that's it.